Hey, we thought we'd do something a lot different than anything we've ever done because Rhino was so generous as to give us an air driver and a hydraulic driver so that we can compare it to the MultiPro XA. So we're gonna show you the difference between hydraulic, air, and gas. By now, you've seen some of the other videos. You know how this is gonna go down. We're gonna set up all three drivers and we're gonna drive to at least three. And if it's going really well, we'll drive to four. Now this is in the exact same spot that we've done all the other driver videos. In fact, the holes are probably right underneath the truck there or right behind the truck. So we wanna make sure we have very similar conditions. In case you haven't seen those videos, you can check those out right over here. But down about two feet, there is nothing but rock. It's just river cobble, nasty, chunky, stuff like that and sand. So it gets very difficult a little bit further down. Which one do you think is gonna win? Uh, hydraulic. Hydraul I'm going right? hydraulic. We've never done this on the channel before. We get a lot of people that say, well, you can't drive that here. You can drive posts in just about anything. It's about how much it's gonna cost you to drive them. The same as when you dig. You can dig holes in just about anything. It's a matter of how much it's gonna cost you to dig the hole. No different, just different methodology. You'll see in the background, we have 185 CFM air compressor running the air driver. And you really do need a compressor that can put out about that much to be able to run this driver. It should be a pretty even competition, honestly, as far as entry level drivers of each style. I want to do this. Let's do it. Before we start though, can I give a huge shout out to Rhino, the sponsor of this video, for giving us this equipment so that we can bring this content for you. Feel free to shop our store down below where you can find all this great equipment and support the sponsor of this video because it's with sponsors like this that make these videos possible. And buyers like you. All right, turn your numbers out. You ready? Go! I think you were the first one to two. Between these two, I couldn't tell which one hit two feet first. This is clearly the winner of this competition. This is the first one out of all the drivers that we tested recently that has been able to get all the way down to three feet. So we're a foot probably into that cobble. The other thing I noticed is when I was able to put my hand on the pounder, it really started going. So if I would have been able to start that from the very beginning, I think I was the first to two, definitely the first to three. And that, that went fast, it was way fast. That's pretty impressive. What do, you, what do you wanna do now? I wanna know if you can go farther. Well, why don't you keep pounding with yours and see if you can get yours to three feet? Cause that's still pretty impressive if you can. All right, let's keep going. Go! So I'm sure you'll have a time-lapse video of how long it took us. We finally got the Rhino to go down to three feet. The gas power driver was able to drive here at three feet. This one's at about three and a half. That one's at a little less than three and a half. I think it's pretty clear that this is the winner, but that gives you kind of a comparison. If you're in soft ground, like this thing, this thing was sailing. I think I'm very impressed with this. This is an aggressive driver that just finally stalled. We basically hit refusal is what we would call that. And that driver, that one also is very impressive. Something to note though, there's whips on your hoses and then uh, that oiler is also quite important to make sure that you don't ruin the piston inside here. That piston is the most expensive part of this and once it's gone, your driver's basically a boat anchor. Uh, ask me how I know. But there's only one thing really to go wrong with that. This doesn't have a whole lot of maintenance. These are pretty robust and not much can go wrong with these outside of abuse and then this is probably gonna have the most maintenance. Just a little something to consider when you're choosing the driver for you. You're probably also wondering what adapters come with these drivers. Now with the air driver and the pneumatic driver, you have a lot more range of adapters because they're a lot larger drivers. We can use an adapter such as this, which will allow us to drive easily two and three eighths, probably three and a half inch. And this is actually for our channel post. The thing to think about is the piston inside these so if the annulus of your pipe is larger than the piston, then you'll need to have a drive cap. So this is just something quick we fabricated up in our shop. Basically a drive cap, you would want something better than this because over time that weld will crack out and this will just all fall apart. So that the piston doesn't go down inside the post and then do no work. We need a drive cap 
so the piston can hit that solid cap. So that's what that's for. Just bear that in mind if you want to drive larger posts. What I want to do right now is pull these posts out and drive some channel posts and see how they perform. Let's do that. Yeah, that's a lot of rock. There you go. That's the core sample of the earth right there. All right, we're ready. No. I didn't say go, I said we're ready. You ready? Ready. Get set, go. Close enough. I hit a rock and I stopped. Oh, I fought every last couple inches. Nick will point out which one one to two feet where we know the rock shelf is. Obviously, this is the only one that got it down. You're probably eight inches. Yep. Yeah, eight. You're probably six. Yeah, six and seven. seven. So pretty comparable performance here. These guys both stalled out on the rock. Uh, this one didn't get it into the rock very much. This was the only one, to, and I fought for the last, I mean, the last four inches took me almost all the time. So this is extremely difficult ground when you get down past two feet. Know that in the clay topsoil, this thing would have just sent it all day long. No problems whatsoever. Clearly hands down winner. Some drawbacks to each one of these. Let's talk about those because I think that's important to notice is that I have to lug these huge hoses around with me everywhere I go or I have to have a bobcat or a power pack which adds an extra expense and then you're sitting there racking up hours on something that's pretty expensive. This is going to be the cheapest to operate but probably have more maintenance more frequently. And then with this one, again, you have to have an air compressor. They make small versions of that air compressor, but you're gonna be into it for 10 grand on something new pretty easily if you get a one that has enough, just barely enough CFM to run this and fits on a pickup rather than a tow behind like this one. Some of the benefits of this is, is that he can run it from the ground. He doesn't have to, he has this nice long hose. He can make an even longer one if he wanted to. Same thing here, I'm, I could be running this from the ground, uh, but it does take two people or you would need some sort of a flow switch. This again is one uh, one man operation. So there's pros and cons to everything. And a cost is a big part of that pro and con. So you have to weigh which one is gonna do it for you. If you've got decent ground, I wouldn't say to spend a whole bunch of money on something else. If you've got decent ground like we have in Florida, then this might be the ticket. If I run into a big root job or something, I may choose to use one of these. Do you guys have anything to add to that? Any pros or cons I missed? Uh, these two can go to bigger posts. You can easily get on to a two and seven eighths with that one and that one. You're just gonna need that drive cap. This one will never drive a two and seven eighths, so don't even try, don't ask. It just, it's not designed for that. All these drivers will probably drive a little slower if you're not putting down pressure. I've noticed, especially in the beginning when I was able to put some down pressure on it, it drove faster, but that just wears you out more. So if I wasn't in a competition like we are here, I would probably just let the thing do its own work and I not I was doing this eight it. hours a day or 10 yeah, hours a day. Yeah, if you're gonna go out there and pound posts all day long, just let it do its thing. That's just gonna wear you out and cause more work for you. So I can't recommend doing that long-term because it's like, it gets old just even driving the one that we did. Uh, but that's all about the Rhino family of drivers, gas, air, and hydraulic. So now you know a little bit more about the different drivers and how they might fit into your operation. As always, thanks for watching the channel. We hope you got something out of this. I'm Mark with SWI. I'm Dan with SWI. I'm Alan with SWI. And we hope you have a good dang day.